I feel like a lot of people get into music and then they sell out pretty much, you know, they, they get told what to do, what to make. Um, we don't do that. I've been living day to day whenever I need a break, I can hear most say to me, maybe we I've always been into music, eh? Um, music is, is a big thing to us, uh, Polynesians. Listening to rap made me pick up on different stylistic devices that they use, metaphors, similes, stuff like that. And then I, I started to think that's clever, like, and that's what intrigued me. 11 a.m. on a Saturday, tell the Usos to grab a plate because we're about to have a big feed. It's a Samoan lunch where there's only four of us, but we got enough food to feed about six streets. I'm in before I started rap, like just before I dropped my first track, it was always a hobby. I guess there was a, an opportunity for me to showcase my talent on Instagram. I just kept dropping videos throughout 2019. And then uh, the end of 2019, um, people were suggesting that I get into a studio and do a song. Then I saved up some money, paid for some studio time. And then boom, I dropped the song, it was called Say Less. And yeah, from there on, it's just been a roller coaster of a ride. I don't let it get to my head, you know, so it's nice to be recognised, 100%, but it doesn't stop me from, like, it doesn't mean I made it. I imagine with my ears first, and then I put it down into words. Classroom. I was that kid that was writing raps and not stopping. Felt like an old school Chris Brown, cause whenever I ran it, my flow was popping. And I wonder... English was my best subject, so I did enjoy uh, telling stories and stuff like that. But, um, you know, when it came to a parent teacher interview, and my mum would come and they would be like, you know, Lizzie, or Talis, Talis, my real name, Talis has got so much potential, but um, just doesn't listen in class. He just likes mucking around. Just didn't apply myself in school, eh? So I don't blame him. Love all my teachers. Look at me now. We started from the bottom of the bottom and we never had a problem and we wish that we would never grow up. Now we're living bigger and better and we're doing whatever, man. I'm glad that we never gave up. Oh, yeah, so my career highlight uh, was probably Samoa. I've been Samoa before, but obviously I've been as a kid, right? This is my first time as an adult and as a rapper. Just know that I know that one day you're gonna make it. Always keep it real, never care about how they feel. Trust me, I could never fake it. No, no. We came up from the gutter at the table. And people knew me, uh, you know, people recognise me on like when I go somewhere and stuff like that. This kid just on the street was like, Sorry, listen, listen. I was like, holy, like even out here, oh wow. Yeah, it was a breath of fresh air, it was amazing. Um, it was good to go uh, film there. Oh, obviously, you know, we want to showcase where, we, where we're from and you know, the pride we have for our homeland, our motherland. I just want to see all the muscles winning and make it out, make it out. Don't you worry, my brother, one way or another, we're going to make it out, 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 yeah. But what drives me is uh, my family, like any, uh, like most specific islanders, I guess, that were raised in a tight-knit family and in a tight household. Uh, you know, I really want to stand here today, that's my mother and I love her, just, you know what I mean? <laughs> Grandma, or mama as we call her. Uh, my mum was always in my corner. She just always tells me, you know, um, do your local, that's one, which is, you know, pray. And always, always remember your family and where you, where you came from. I mean, I'm still, still young, still dumb. Almost broke, because I'm young and dumb. Everyone thinks that I'm a big rapper and whatnot, but hey, wait till you see me get a Grammy, then you can call me a big rapper. That's what I'm waiting for.